Hey guys, today I will show you how to get any item in pre-hard mode, including hard mode and post moon lord items with a simple newly discarded glitch. First, select multiplayer, head host and play, or you can play with friends, so you have to like join. And then select a the character you're going to play with, or create a new one if you don't have any. And then select world, any world it doesn't matter, you can make a new one. And you start a server or join an already existing server. And then you have to get some wood or any other block. I already prepared all the items. So for comfort, build a platform just like me. But you don't have to do it that high. This level is already good enough. Or you can just clear out trees and just like build it here. But it would be ideal if it's like high up above. Not this level, of course. Not this level. Then make like an arc shape. And make it go down. Then break a few blocks on the bottom. And place a trap door. Then put two sand blocks on top. You can get that from the desert. Oh, also for trapdoor, uh, you need some iron and wood for that. If I remember right, it's four iron ingots and what was it like 10, 10 wood or something, but you'd probably already have that. After placing the sand, you gotta drop down a bass statue. They can be found at the bottom layers of the underground. Uh, well, you know what? Not even bottom layers, just pretty much anywhere like underground desert. Uh, in small rooms like the, yeah, small rooms like these. Next up, it's to get a bass statue and make it face, uh, yeah, make it face you. Uh, next step, it's to get a sand block and a sandstone block. You can also use stone. Yeah, you can use the stone block. It's also fine, but it just looks better with a sandstone block. Uh, you grab sand block in your hand and you put it at this square and you put it there and as soon as uh, this block gets placed you have to put this block right there the sandstone block right near that sand block so it glitches the statue so pretty much like this and yep you can't see the bass statue, but it's there. It's there. And then you add these. You add a few blocks there. You break that. And then you have to place a door down there. Well, I don't have a door, so I'm just going to craft one real quick. Yeah, I got myself a door got to be a normal wooden door or it's not really going to work. It's going to be a lot more complicated. So you just place it down there and you grab a pressure plate and you put it down here or pretty much anywhere, but it's just easier if you place it down there. And then add some wire and open that door. And yep, if you see the corner change color, that means it worked. You did everything right and uh, it might be a little confusing next step, so I'm going to go into detail. First, close the door. Yeah, this door already changed color, so it's a different door now. Different ID object. Now you have to, well, you have to close the door or it's going to go back to its like original state. Like, yeah, it's back to original state. But you have to close it and then deactivate the statue then open this again and activate it again and it's gonna disappear and it's gonna disappear but it's fine and then you close this again tap the button and then open it you can't see it but it's there and voila you get yourself a hero blade and here you get yourself a hero blade in pre hard mode that's pretty cool it's like yeah it's working Fully functional. Uh, yep. 
As you can see, it works perfectly, right? This, this is a Terrorblade. In the description, you can see more things, what you can turn it into. I know you can make this into a shell phone. Basically, this item. It's like last on the line of uh, changing this door. Oh. It's changing uh, from wooden door. Uh, you can also get like a lot of armor with just this common door. But you have to use other doors. For example, uh, iron door like i don't know lizard dungeon door you can try out with those and yeah you can see all of them in the description see you in the next one